In this video, we'll cover how to install a float switch. The float switch is wired to the air conditioner and will turn off the system if the main drain line is clogged. Before you begin, make sure you perform a lockout tagout. If you don't know how to properly lockout tagout, check out our video in the description. To install a float switch, you'll need two PVC elbows, one coupling, one three-quarter pipe, wire nuts, and PVC cement and primer. Check your drip pan before you start to see if you need male or female PVC elbows and if they need to be threaded. After you've performed lockout tagout, you will need to install the plumbing for the float switch. Cut the three-quarter pipe in half. You'll glue the coupling in the middle, then screw each end of the coupling together so that the pipe is connected again. This coupling will make maintenance easier in the future as you will be able to turn the pipe to dump out excess water. Once that's done, glue the PVC elbows to each end of the three-quarter pipe. Remove the filter for the air conditioner. Look in the drip pan. You'll see two drain holes. The main drain is flush with the drip pan, while the secondary drain is raised. You'll be connecting your plumbing to the raised secondary drain. This is because if the main drain line is clogged, the drip pan will start to fill with water. When the water line is high enough, the water will spill into the secondary line, lifting the float switch and shutting off the air conditioner. Make sure that the pipe is clear of all structures so there is room for the float switch to rise. Now that you have installed the plumbing, it's time to wire the switch. Remove the cover by taking out the disconnect in the bolts. Double check that there is no power by checking for voltage. Take your float switch and place it in the housing you installed earlier. To minimize the number of holes in the cover, it's recommended to run the wire through an already existing hole. If there isn't an appropriately sized hole, you'll need to drill one. If possible, seal it with caulking. Once the wire is in the unit, you'll need to locate the two red wires. One wire should connect to the thermostat, while the other connects to the circuit board. Connect one of the black wires from the float switch to each of the two red wires, using a wire nut to cover the connections. This will complete the switch, allowing the float switch to shut down the system when raised. Put the wires back and replace the cover and disconnect to the panel. Then turn the power back on so you can test the newly installed float switch. To do this, go to the thermostat and turn the fan on. Then manually raise the float switch. The air conditioner should turn off. Note that you may have to wait several minutes as there is a delay. When the AC turns off, you've confirmed that your float switch has been installed correctly.